Hello, everyone. Welcome to Display Trivia. I'd like to invite you all to close your eyes with me for a second and repeat after me. We're playing for $5,000. We're playing for $5,000. We're playing for $5,000. Okay, we're manifesting it. We haven't spun the wheel yet, but we've put it into the universe. Let's find out now, did it work? Are we in fact playing for $5,000? Send it. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. 5K, 5K, 5K. Oh, oh, oh. What? <laughs> Folks, we just manifested a $5,000 jackpot together. Woo! Should we just do that every night from here on out? We are playing for $5,000. <sighs> I love that that worked. That makes me so happy. The power of manifestation. Okay. Here's how it's gonna work. We're gonna take a quick break. When we come back, 10 questions, you answer them all correctly, you win a piece of that $5,000 jackpot. We'll be right back. Bienvenidos a Display TV. We did it. Y tienes que darle bien fuerte para poder llegar rápido. Guys, welcome to Cusco. Estamos en la hermosa ciudad de Mérida. Delicioso. Un agua chile de camarón. Welcome back to Display Trivia and welcome to Libra season! Five days ago. Oops. I owe all of my Libras out there an apology. To all of my romantic, diplomatic balance seekers, I wish you the happiest birthday month. Do we have any Libras in the chat? Show yourselves! Show yourselves now! Now everyone else, let those people win. Actually, that would drive our Libras crazy since they appreciate fairness. So a normal game it is. It's a normal game for all my Libras. Don't say I ever didn't do anything for your birthday, okay? Tonight's pot is $5,000, another birthday gift. And here's how you're gonna get it. There's 10 questions that need answers. Choose wisely, because once you tap, there's no going back. Now Libras, don't be too indecisive, because you only have 10 seconds. And folks, if you miss one, you will no longer be eligible for that cash prize, but stay in the game and play along for fun. Okay, you ready to do this? Here we go. Question one. The parts of the tongue responsible for perceiving taste are called taste buds, toenails, lower back hair. The parts of the tongue responsible for perceiving taste are called taste buds, toenails, lower back hair. All these receptors on your tongue these guys and gals are your pals, your friends. Gosh, what is another name for that? Amigos, besties, compadres? it has gotta be a word I'm missing here. Ah, oh, I got it. They're your buds. Oh, and boy, do they have taste. Ah, the answer is on the tip of my tongue. Uh, actually, it's all over my tongue. I'm not just sweet talking. Your taste buds are the ones who come through for you, whether life is delicious or bitter. Question two, select the basic shape that has less than four sides. Pentagon, square, triangle. Select the basic shape that has less than four sides. Pentagon, square, triangle. This shape is like so basic. This shape like loves taking selfies and ordering iced matcha lattes and then posting pics of those iced matcha lattes on all her profiles. Did this shape really just do another influencer haul on her page? Oh, yep, there she goes again with matching bridesmaids robes with all her besties. Basic AF. Hey, I don't mean to throw shade. 
This shape's doing her thing, and all with less than four sides. Triangle, arguably the sexiest shape, is the one on this list with three sides. Any less than that, and you're just a line or a circle, baby. Question three. Which of the following is not a major broadcaster based in the US? BBC, ABC, CNN. Which of the following is not a major broadcaster based in the US? BBC, ABC, CNN. You cannot be a major broadcaster unless your name is all initials. Better yet, make it three initials if you really wanna be taken seriously. You don't see any major news outlets calling themselves HGTV, do ya? Although, truth be told, whatever the Property Brothers are up to is all the news I need. One of them's dating De Zoe Deschanel. I know, can you believe it? But, of the major broadcasters on this list, the one not based in the USA is the British Broadcasting Company. And now, we're tuning in to question four. All of the following are nationalities traditionally associated with massage techniques except Swedish, Thai, Italian. All of the following are nationalities traditionally associated with massage techniques except Swedish, Thai, Italian. Are we deciding between types of massages or ordering dinner off seamless? Personally, I was kind of more in the mood for burgers and fries, but you know, I can make any of these work, it's fine. Oh wait, I don't get to eat the food while I get my massage? Okay, then never mind, guys. I think I'm just gonna sit this one out. But speaking of massages, let's get in there and massage those brains. Loosen them up for the rest of this quiz. Oof, yeah, that's a knot right there. Yes, it is. <laughs> and I hope you are not getting an Italian massage because at most parlors, you're gonna see Swedish or Thai as your main courses. Question five. This cartoon family was a Yabba Dabba family. The Jetsons, the Flintstones, the Simpsons. This cartoon family was a Yabba Dabba family. The Jetsons, the Flintstones, the Simpsons. There is no TV family like a cartoon family. I mean, <laughs> they never break up. Why mom and dad, why? And if they do break up, they're always back together again in the credits of the next episode. It's how real families should be. Look, we may have our differences, but at the end of the day, we're all sitting in our living rooms on the same exact spots on the couch wearing the exact same clothes we always wear with the exact same theme music playing. If only Thanksgiving could be that easy. The Yabba Dabba family we're looking for today is the Flintstones down in Bedrock. Much like the Neolithic Flintstones, this question is history. Question six. Which of these animals does not have a cephalothorax segment on its body? Arachnid, insect, crustacean. Which of these animals does not have a cephalothorax segment on its body? Arachnid, insect, crustacean. All bodies are different and wonderful. And sometimes you're born with a cephalothorax and sometimes you're not. Different strokes for different folks. Ah, <sighs> but. What is a cephalothorax, you may be asking, and how many more times are we gonna make Sarah say it, you might also be asking. Cephalothorax, cephalothorax, practically rolls off the tongue. And I don't think any of these animals had tongues, but if they did, they'd probably be located somewhere in the cephalothorax, cause that's just a fancy word for a head that's fused to a body. And the only creature here that wouldn't have one, an insect whose body is segmented into three sections. This quiz is segmented into 10 questions though, so let's hurry into question seven. All of the following were original members of the Rat Pack except Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Bing Crosby. All of the following were original members of the Rat Pack except Frank Sinatra, Sammy Davis Jr., Bing Crosby. As much as they sound like it, the Rat Pack is not a street gang from Ratatouille. Remy had enough problems trying to get that chef to cook just by pulling his hair. Like he needed a wily rat pack on the mean streets to get in his way. No, 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 no. They were an actual group of some of the coolest crooners of their day. And their name came from how they all looked after a rather festive night in Vegas. Ooh, are you rat pack gonna need an ice pack for that blow? Apparently not, because this musical group embraced it. At times, they consisted of greats like Dean Martin and Joey Bishop, but they never hooked up with Crosby. Question eight. 
The phrase four score and seven years ago famously comes from a speech made in which U.S. state? Virginia, Pennsylvania, South Carolina. The phrase four score and seven years ago famously comes from a speech made in which U.S. state? Virginia, Pennsylvania, South Carolina. Look, if the score was only four and the game was seven years ago, why are we still fixating on this minute detail? Sounds like a little league coach who really just cannot let things go. Dude, it's a bunch of fifth graders playing a game for fun. You gotta move on. Oh, oh, it was Abraham Lincoln and it was after the bloodiest battle of the Civil War? Okay, <laughs> sorry, I forgot what I said. Um, Abraham Lincoln gave the Gettysburg Address, which was not, contrary to popular belief, just a place to send mail but a battle site in Pennsylvania. Oh, and uh, for score, turns out the score is 20 years. Your scores? Well, I bet they're perfect. Question nine. What is the name of the workplace where Kevin James' character is employed in his longest running sitcom? NYPD, IPS, US Post Service, US Post Office. What? is the name of the workplace where Kevin James' character is employed in his longest running sitcom. NYPD, IPS, US Post Office. I'll give you a hint. In this show, Kevin James was the king of something, but it was the show he had before he learned how to wait, which admittedly is a very difficult skill. Patience is a virtue. Very important to learn that sooner rather than later. Oh, and then somewhere in between those projects, he was a loser who couldn't find love until he met Will Smith. No, Kevin eventually learned how to wait, but before that, I'm sure he kept a lot of New Yorkers waiting eagerly for their packages because he was the king of Queens and he worked for fictional shipping company, IPS. Fake company, but you're winning real money in this game. It's time for the final question of the night. Here we go, question 10. American designer Ralph Lauren's label is named for a sport that uses which of the following sports equipment? Stumps, hacks, mallets. Named for a sport that uses which of the following sports equipment? Stumps, hacks, mallets. If you're having trouble with this, just think about the little dude on the left breast pocket of all the shirts. Or it could have been a dudette playing. Honestly, the figure's so small you can't really tell. And also, it doesn't matter. The point is, there's someone playing a sport on all of those shirts, which is funny because I feel like most dads in Ralph Lauren shirts are not really in their athletic grind. Probably just yelling at a TV that's got TV on. But nonetheless, the brand conveys athleticism and class, much like the sport of polo for which the brand is named. Stumps are used in cricket and hacks are used in curling but mallets are the only item here that one would use in the sport played on horseback. Say it with me now, you came, you slayed, you displayed your knowledge and you got paid. Any other rhyming words? Fade, made, trade, laid, and this game just became R-rated. So that's my cue to leave. I'll see you tomorrow on display.